Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth, earth and, and all, all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful, to, to live, live together, together in unity. unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and peace, peace join hands. hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our and mouths our shall proclaim your praise. praise. With God protecting me from every danger, whom shall I fear? Should evil powers advance, should armies try to kill, let them surround me and let them attack me, I'll still trust God. to gaze at God's goodness and seek his aid. Preserved by God from harm, secure in him alone, I will rejoice in the face of affliction and sing God's song. Move among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your, your people, people rejoice, rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your, your spirit, spirit of freedom, freedom sustain, sustain us. us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore, Restore us, us in body, body mind and, and spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that we are made, made in God's, God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, 
planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. How lovely is your dwelling place, God of power and might. I long with heartfelt yearning to be within God's house. My whole being sings for joy to God, the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and, and the swallow makes a nest, where she can rear her brood close to your holy altars. Happy are those who live in your house, forever offering praise. Happy are those who trust in you as they walk their pilgrim way. Better is one day in your temple than a thousand days elsewhere. Better to stand at the door of God's house than live in the tents of the wicked. God is our sun. God is our shield, giver of glory and grace. God refuses no good thing to those who do what is right. Happy are those who trust in you, God of power and might. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Philippians chapter 3, verses 17 to 20. Brothers and sisters, join in imitating me, me, and observe those who live according to the example you have in us. For many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. I have often told you of them, and now I tell you even with tears. Their end is destruction, their God is the belly, and their glory is in their shame. Their minds are set on earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven, and it is from there that we are expecting a Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. My
God of justice and joy, whose grace is irresistible, whose generosity is unlimited. At this time, when at home as well as abroad, we hear of, we hear of food shortages, food banks, parents going without meals, heat and light, so that their children may not be hungry. Help us to be ever thankful for what we have. Help us to shop with discretion, responsibility and restraint. Help us to recognise that around food, there are justice issues that need to be addressed. And that even in our own small way, we can make a difference. Amen. On the 11th day of the month, we pray for the community's work with young people, youth workers, Iona Youth work Networks, and the Young Adults Group. These are Daisy Anderson, Laura Gisborne, Callum Freeman, Kath Malone, Laura Murray, Amy Sample, Rebecca Sardison Co, Annie Sharples, Eve Sharples, Bronwyn Thomas, Nathan Tregett, Lois Anna Volko, Maydie Watson, Rebecca Wilson, and Jack Woodroth. And we pray for the countries of Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Iceland, and Greenland. And we pray for the members belonging to the family group of South Edinburgh, James Black and Chris, Walter Dunlop and Jennifer, Alan Gordon and Betty, Stuart McGregor and Chris, Mike Miniter, Charles Orr, Martin Scott and Jane Scott. On the 11th day of this month, we pray for associate members in New Zealand, Malaysia and Taiwan. Walk with them today, O oh God, and keep us on your way. O oh Christ, you are within each of us. It is not just the interior of these walls. It is our own inner being you have renewed. We are your temple, not made with human hands. We are your body. If, if every wall should crumble and, and every church decay, we, we are, are your habitation. habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes with which you, in the mystery, look out with compassion on the world. So we bless you for this place, for your directing of us, your redeeming of us, your presence among us. Take us outside, O Christ, outside holiness, to where nations clash at the crossroads of the world. So shall this building continue to be justified, and your people find cause to bless your name. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue it. it in the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in community, holy and one.